Now, I good afternoon everyone, and I hope your day is going well. Today, I'll be reviewing Amora Coffee. So, I happen to get the Elegante blend, which is finely ground and smoothly roasted. Now, I paid $14.95 for two bags of this, and that's for the free trial uh, for shipping and handling, so keep that in mind. I believe the subscription rates, because it's a monthly subscription, uh, are a lot higher than that. I'll try to get that figure at the end of this video or edit it into this portion. But without further ado, let's get started. So first here I have th it prepared as I like it with three spoonfuls of sugar and a splash of milk. It's actually very good. Um, I would say it's a lot better than what I normally get, the uh, Folgers breakfast blend. It's, uh, it's a lot sweeter, I would say, than uh, the Folgers breakfast blend. And I say that because I'm measuring it compared to, you know, using the same amount of sugar. Um, just some water to cleanse the palate. Now I'm going to do something that I very rarely do. I'm going to try it black. No sugar, no creamer, no milk. It's actually not that bad black. Um, I don't think I would drink it black. But it's definitely nowhere near as bitter as the normal coffee I have. Because when I drink like Folgers Breakfast Blend Black, it just... I have to spit it out immediately. That actually was tolerable. Um, so props to them for that. Uh, I wouldn't know what their other coffees taste like. But um, that's what their Elegante Blend tastes like to me. Uh, do I think it is worth the cost? Honestly, hell no. If you have money to splurge and you're a coffee fanatic, go for it. You know, I'm not going to stop you. I think it's good. So go ahead, you know. But if you're just the average Joe looking to get some coffee, maybe stick with your store brand. By the way, this video is not sponsored by Amora. So... I'm not getting paid to say this is good. I just think it's good. If it were crap, I'd tell you. The way I like it may need some tweaking. Because um, that's just a little bit too sweet, honestly. So, maybe a little bit less sugar and it'd probably be perfect. Like, I'd drink it every day, probably. Also, I figured I'd include this in the video. Um, I attended one of Meridian's virtual events, or at least I signed up to. Um, I wound up getting busy, so I didn't get to go. And they sent a little gift package, essentially, uh, for registering to attend the event, which included this bag of Good Morning Meridian Coffee. Um, it's a medium roast, I believe, and it is. it says ground 100% Arabica coffee. If I pronounce that wrong, burn me on the steak, whatever. This video is also not sponsored by Meridian, so... I'm not getting paid to tell you about the event that I registered for, nor am I getting paid to say kind things about Meridian or their coffee that they sent. Um, but I do like Meridian. Meridian is really good. They provide a lot of helpful services related to mental health, including therapy and outreach programs, inpatient, outpatient, all sorts of things for people with mental illnesses. So, you know, if you're suffering, I really recommend that you reach out. Maybe consider consulting someone at Meridian or any other place, really. You know, I'm not going to promote Meridian because I had a positive experience with them and because they sent me coffee, you know. <laughs> I am just promoting Meridian because, you know, the work that they do is amazing and they help so many people in their daily lives. I really didn't mean for this to turn into, you know, a uh, take care of your mental health video. Uh, this is supposed to just be a coffee review, but you know, you take care of yourself. 
it's it's really important. Now, without further ado, uh, let's taste test it. As I did with the Amora, I'm going to try it the way I like it first. It's definitely not as sweet as the uh, Elegante blend Amora coffee, but it's it's also sweeter than um, how I normally prepare my folders, but not in a bad way. You know, it's not overwhelming and doesn't taste awful. I like it. So let's just cleanse the palate real quick. Now let's try it black, even though this is probably one of the lightest hues of coffee I've ever seen black, uh, so I wouldn't call it black, but, you know. It's not the best, but it is 100% not the worst. It's definitely better black plain than the Amora coffee, which, as I mentioned before, is light years ahead of Folgers black, in my opinion. Uh, I could probably sit here and drink a couple of cups of this black. You know, I can stand it. Uh, I don't know. It doesn't really have much of a, a flavor it's got a, a, a small nip um where you can you can feel the the bit of bitterness but it's not overwhelming uh you can't tell i'm not the best at uh putting flavors into words but uh if you drink your coffee black and you like the punch this isn't for you. It, it lacks the punch. But if you maybe want to try drinking coffee black for health reasons or whatever, and you don't like the punch, yeah, this is, I would say you could go with this. It's, uh, it's very mild. Mild's not even the right word. It's very tame. And a big thank you to the person behind the scenes preparing the pots of coffee and the cups of coffee for me to taste test for you guys. That would be my wonderful fiance. Jennifer, who is starting her own channel, CG Leo. That's right, I'm gonna link it in the description, so go check it out. All right, so I found their rate, rates, Amora that is. Um, so what this says is, starting in about two weeks and about every month thereafter, you will receive a fresh batch of four half pound bags in the blend you selected at the regular price of $14.95 per bag plus $7.95 per delivery for packaging and priority mail, which is a total of $67.75 per month for four half-pound bags of coffee. So two pounds of coffee for $67.75. I, I don't think that's a, that's a great deal, but if you do, you do you, you know. Um, well... That's it for this video, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.